Hi everyone, welcome to News Generation. My name is Ifwa. In today's bulletin, young people on the latest fuel price increase. Then we meet 10-year-old Nathaniel Papa Atu. He is a cancer survivor. And how children in Nepal, Asia are coping weeks after a most devastating earthquake. These stories and more coming up. Please stay with us. News Generation, supported by Cowbell with Vitamin. <laughs> and you can also join us on social media. It's facebook.com forward slash News Generation GH. And we are also on Twitter at News Gen GH. Now, fuel prices are up again, but this time transport prices have not gone up yet. The Ministry of Transport has asked transport operators to wait till June, by which time agreed prices would have been advertised. But here's what you have to say on the issue. The money I used to bring to school reduced because part of it was used to pay, um, buy for. My parents used part of it to buy for. Um, my parents had to make ends meet and my uh, chop money had to increase. Due to this, um, we had to make ends meet. Like if we buy three uh, boxes of milk every week, we have to decrease it to one. And also bear in mind that while the fuel is increasing, their salaries are not increasing. So it's not helping in any way. Yes, things are really cutting down and things are becoming hard for us in a way because petrol is a very important factor of our daily life. My dad used to give um, uh, chop money as 50 yana but because of the increasement of petrol he has reduced it to 30 cities. What some of you have to say about the latest fuel price increase. Now that much talked about Doomsoma stop vigil organized by some celebrities the country took place on May 16th as promised in the national capital Accra. So did the vigil have any impact? Here's what you had to say. The light out has been going on since this, and even though they started with the vigil, still the lights are not back. So if the lights are back, then we can say there has been some achievements in what they did. It hasn't had any impact because Saturday it was organized, Sunday there wasn't light, yesterday too there wasn't light. And as a student, I find it difficult learning in heat, so it hasn't had any impact on Yes and no. Yes, because um, it hasn't improved, and no, because it hasn't reduced at all. But for me, I'd say that there have been a lot of gaps, and they don't really stick to the timetable or the schedule for the doom so. I don't really think so. I don't think so. Because just yesterday, yesterday, light up the whole day. I couldn't use my gadgets, I couldn't do anything. I was just bored in the house, doing nothing. So I don't feel it has achieved any purpose. After the vigil, I thought everything would be possible, and like learning for students at night. But for three days now, we've, we've not had lights, and there's nothing really much going on. Your views on WhatsApp. Now, do you know children can get cancer? Many childhood cancers can be treated, though. The key to successful treatment is early detection and this is the story of Nathaniel Papa Atu. Hi Papa. Hi Papa, you're welcome. Nathaniel Papa Atu is 10 years. He's visiting the children's eye care unit at Kolebu for a checkup. He's an eye cancer survivor. He was only two weeks when he was diagnosed. They brought him to us when he was four weeks old. It was advanced in one eye, so it was a removal of one eye. But the other eye had tiny or early form of the, the disease. And because we could not handle it here, we referred to South Africa. He's been there a number of occasions. Papa is only one of several children who have been treated for eye cancer disease. There are quite a few at the children's eye care unit here at Kolebu. Dr. Vera Esuman, who is the children's eye doctor, says the key to survival is early detection. We are getting 
and survivors. There are quite a number of survivors and we want people to know that. And they say, how do we detect this uh, disease early? Usually there's a shiny spot that the parents will see. Sometimes it glows like the cat's eye or the dog's eye in the night. Papa and his family are happy to celebrate his life after a successful treatment, which has hopefully guaranteed him a long life. Still to come, we will take a trip to Nepal to see how children there are coping after two earthquakes within a month. We also went to a book launch that teaches you about ambition. We'll be explaining that after this. You're welcome back to News Generation with me, Ifwa Akwa Harrison. What are your ambitions and aims? Well, a book that talks about finding your ambitions and working to achieve them has been launched. Join News' Ivy Jane Fee spoke to some young people. The book, entitled The Audacity of Ambition, was launched at the Presbyterian Senior High School at Lagos. The author, Dr. Okoboy, said he wrote the book targeting the youth. It's a book that uh, basically tries to talk about how to conceive a dream or an ambition, how to work towards it, how to sustain it, and how to become relevant to society and all. Now, the motivation for writing this book is that I know a lot of people who had very good education, uh, went to university, did masters, but they died tragically or their lives are messed up today, all because they missed out on some principles. And so some of these principles were mentioned in the book, like hard work, uh, financial discipline, uh, talk about drug abuse. I mentioned a lot of things. And the concept was that I wanted to encourage or inspire whoever reads the book, the youth especially, that no matter where you are coming from, it is possible to become relevant to your society as long as you have the right principles, traits, tools, and uh, how do you call it, guidance. Because the book tries to tell you of the threats ahead and makes you aware that you can joke today, but life is real. Some students who were in attendance said they were glad they attended the launch and could not wait to read the book. Sometimes some people come to SHS coming to thinking that school is only about having knowledge, but you have to have some other aspects of your life. Some of the problems we encounter are suits. Like, having problems with our peers, keeping bad company, and they're not focusing on ourselves. But then him, I know the book will talk about all that. It will hit on all that and then give us a fair idea on what we have to do. He gave examples of doctors who right now, because of what they've done, have lost their certificate or practice. So I think that, yes, the book is worth reading to help us shape our lives for the future. There's, a, there's some aspect of uh, discipline that really, really affects our education in terms of knowing when to do things, and then sticking by your plan that you have planned on how to do your things. Since the April 25th earthquake hit Nepal, there have been smaller earth tremors known as aftershocks almost every day, and another earthquake two weeks after the first. Nearly a million children cannot attend school because the structures were badly damaged. But Kids still play and are making the best of their time. Let's see what kids around the world are doing. We don't have to go to school. We can play without any stress. We have not gone to school for this now. We are playing cricket joyfully. We can sleep in a tent and it's like a picnic. We used to watch a comedy serial where a character used to sleep in a similar kind of tent. At that time, I used to wonder how it feels to sleep in a tent. Now we have one in front of our house and I realize it's real fun sleeping here. When a tremor comes while we are all sleeping, everybody starts running together. Some fall to the ground and I find it very funny. 
So life goes on for kids even after earthquakes. And now we are off to South Africa where we meet Lindy Wei who gave herself a special test for a day. Let's see what that's all about. There are many teenage mothers in South Africa, mothers that are young and still go to school. I'm going to make my baby with all this. It's a bit heavy because this is how a baby waits. But what can I say? I'm a mom now. I have to go to school. So right now I'm going to do my dishes, sweep on the floor. It's so hard. Because my mom is very strict. It's very difficult. This was not a game. This was yo, a challenge I'll never ever take again. So this baby, 5 kg millimil, is gone. I'm done. Learned my lesson. Goodbye. That was Lindy, we're a teenager in South Africa who was giving a test of going to school with a baby, I guess, to learn how life is like as a teenage mother. So what do you think? Would it be something good to replicate here? Um, have young teenagers uh, think about what it would be like to have a baby and have them maybe take a baby to school for a week and see if, you know, it will prevent them from engaging in things that lead to teenage pregnancy. Let us know on facebook.com forward slash news generation GH. We are also on Twitter at news gen GH. And a three year old is making waves on social media. We'll tell you all about it and what's trending when we come back. And you're welcome back to News Generation with me, Ifwa Kwara Harrison. Have you liked our social media pages yet? We're on facebook.com forward slash News Generation GH. You can also find us on Twitter at News Gen GH. You can tell us what you think about the show, contribute story ideas if you have any. We are always ready to listen to you. Now let's tell you what is trending. And there's no doubt that... Children learn by observing and imitating adults and peers. Now, this three-year-old has gone a step further and already has a career. Watch this. That was three-year-old DJ Arch Jr. Isn't he amazing? Three years and he's already spinning. Wow. Hmm, what can you do? Let us know. Facebook.com forward slash News Generation GH or on Twitter at News Gen GH. Let's catch up with some more stories in a roundup before we go. Teacher trainees in training colleges across the country have boycotted classes to demand their allowances. The trainees used to get a monthly allowance from government, but they took it away. 
It was replaced with a student loan scheme, but the students are not happy and want the allowances reintroduced. The Electoral Commission has suspended its voter registration exercise after four political parties kicked against it. The parties say they were not consulted before the registration started. In a press statement, the EC said it was putting the exercise on hold to allow a thorough discussion of the matter with all the political parties. The registration exercise, which began last week, was to allow teenagers who just turned 18 to register ahead of the general elections in December 2016. Ghana's midfielder Andre Ayew has been named best African player in France. The 25-year-old beat two other players to the Marc Vivian Four trophy. It is said to be the last thing he will achieve as a player as he has stated he would believe in the club at the end of the season. Ayew has scored 10 goals in 27 appearances for the French club this season. Ghana's defender Jonathan Mensah has been handed a four-month worldwide ban over his free transfer to French side Evian. This follows a four-year protest by his previous club, Italy's Udinese. The Court of Arbitration for Sports ruled that the Ghanaian defender in 2011 was illegally transferred to the French top-flight side Evian. Cass ruled that Mensah was under contract with Italian side Udinese when he signed with Evian as a free agent. The World Health Organization is to set up a $100 million emergency fund following the Ebola outbreak. Speaking in Geneva, the Director General, Margaret Chan, said WHO had been overwhelmed by the epidemic in West Africa. She said the demands were more than 10 times greater than anything else it had experienced. The Ebola outbreak was first reported in March 2014 and is believed to have claimed more than 11,000 lives. Taylor Swift won big at the 2015 Billboard Awards in the United States. She won eight out of the 14 categories she was nominated for. Some of her prizes include Best Female Artist, Best Streaming Songs and Artist of the Year. Way to go, Taylor Swift. And that's all we have time for this edition of News Generation. Thank you so much for joining us. Remember, you can always catch up with us on social media. Uh, Facebook is News Generation GH. And at Twitter, you can find us at News Gen G H. Until next time, enjoy the rest of your day. Bye. News Generation, supported by Cowbell with Vitorid.